Welcome back to Fox 9 Sports Now, and we are honored to have two, not one, but two Twins legends here. <laughs> Former Twins manager Ron Gardenhire going into the Twins Hall of Fame this summer, and Kent Herbeck, two-time World Series champ, already in that Hall of Fame. Uh, gentlemen, thank you very much for stopping by. It's nice to be here. Good nice to, to see you here, again. Jimmy. Thanks for having us. Yeah. I think it's great that you're here. This well, is, this is we, very kind of you. We like it. Where do I get my expense check? We'll take care of that right <laughs> after the show. I've got okay. the accountants working on it, even okay. on a Sunday. Perfect. It, it's, a, it's amazing. But uh, going into the Hall of Fame this year, uh, obviously the managerial uh, career was sensational with the Twins, but there's a part of this that came up on your Zoom presser where you and Danny were talking about uh, 91, 10th inning. You were on first because they walked you. And you were standing there with Gladden. And take us through what you guys were talking about in that well, moment. It was so loud. You could, I mean, really, we were trying to communicate with each other. And he's screaming, you're going to tell me when to go. And I'm like, just tag up if it goes in here. And it was, it was hysterical at the end. You know, now, now Herbie, you get walked. Did, did you want to swing? Were you upset? Well, I thought they were going to pitch to me, actually. But they didn't have any. They didn't go to a left hand. I was struggling so bad. But they didn't have a left hand to come in from the bullpen because they used everybody up at that time. So, and they got Gino to, to win the ball game for us. And then, Gardy, you, did you have to tell him to go, or did he know? No, I was so stupid in that one. That Look I'm at Gardy. He, he took off running. I should have ran with him. I should have <laughs> ran straight down to home plate, jumping up with everybody, and I went the wrong way. But I did shake, I think it was Faye Vincent's hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you take off and run the other way. Right. Danny was going on. And... Dummy. What a dummy. I could have went right with him. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you want to honor the commissioner like that? Well, we'd been talking like the whole game you're, because they had those extra seats right there hanging over at the Metrodome, and I'd be just chatting with him pretty much the whole game. We had a good time in between innings, and uh, you know what? Uh, the first thing, we'd been talking about it right before it, and he said, you're going to win it. And I went, next thing you know, we hit it, and I went, bam, ran over to it. So, dummy, what a dummy. <laughs> that was pretty good. I mean, for all the chances that both teams had to score runs and to go down with that, I mean, People have talked about being in one of the greatest games ever and, uh, you know, to be a part of it, like Gardy says, to be down there. And, and I'm sure there were some nerves between you guys going, oh you know, my God. how far do I go? How far yeah, is your fly exactly. ball going to be and all that kind of stuff? Even over at first base, standing at first base, I had to make sure that I was going to go and touch second base so I didn't start running around and cheering. <laughs> you have to make sure so they can't force you out. So, I mean, you were thinking all kinds of things were going on with, with a – a, a crazy play like that. So. All right, so the celebration goes off. Herbie, where did you go then? You went to second and then I beelined it for home? Yeah, I went and touched second, and then I ran back to uh, first base to go congratulate Gino. I ended up over in that pile. So <laughs> there was piles going all over the place. Yeah. All right, the second time versus the first. Is there the moment that you clinched it? I mean, did it feel different? Was anything no, different? No, it was. I mean, lucky enough, first of all, to be involved with two of them and win both of them. But uh, um, no, I mean, there, it's like having two kids. If you have two kids, ask you, you know, which one do you like better? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say? Right. <laughs> I like this one better than the other one. <laughs> Just to make sure they don't hear that. But no, but I mean, both of them were awesome. Of course, the first one maybe seems a little more memorable at times, but. Uh, it was, uh, they're both awesome. And like I said, the, the game, to sit and watch Jack pitch that game was, was awesome. Uh, the final game in, in 91. And Smoltzy, too. He pitched a heck of a oh, game geez. against us. So yeah. uh, they were both very special. All right, Gardy, you're heading into the Twins Hall of Fame. Uh, what was that call like for you? Did you have any inkling that that's why everybody was calling you? You know, uh, I think people had, talked about it, but I think the, the best part of the whole deal was Rod Carew. <laughs> He's the one <laughs> said you're going in. Does it get any better? Nope. I mean, I don't know who could have been better other than my wife. I would have loved for her to say you're going in the Hall of Fame. Oh, but a boy guard. Rod Carew, how about that? Hey, Carol. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, it was like Rod Carew telling me we're putting you in the, tw and I was like, holy cow. And I'd had some conversations with Dave St. Pete and guys like that too. So. But it was, it was kind of one of those stunning things, you know, something you dream about, and, but you don't worry about it because you really can't control too much of it, you know. I thought it was because I got kicked out of like 90 games. That they put me in. I thought that <laughs> you know, was, was a record. Neat. It was the night that he got, uh, that they talked to him, Toby, his son, was down in fantasy camp with us during fantasy, Twins fantasy camp. And Toby knew 
but he didn't tell any of us at the table. And then I had found out from one of, from one of Gardy's buddies. And uh, I asked Toby the next day, I says, I hear your dad. And, and Toby was talking about how humbled his dad felt and how honored he felt to be inducted into it. So believe me, he's, uh, he's humbled and excited and I know how, how he feels. It's, it's a pretty cool deal for him. So really Herbie, when you ran into him coming up and then he came up as well, did you ever sense that he was managerial material as some like to call it? Um, I, I loved him at third base. I mean, he was fun, fun guy having that third base coach. But usually, if you know guys are third base coaches nowadays, they end up going into a managerial spot. It's kind of a movement, I guess, of of people. Uh, it was fun watching Gardy play. The, the the neat thing about it is I know how much he learned from TK, and he managed so much like TK. I could almost tell what he was going to do. I could just tell by TK's facial expressions a lot of times of what kind of movie he was going to make. And then after Gardy took over for TK. You could see the same kind of facial stuff coming up and going, uh-oh, this is going to happen. Or he, I, I could manage right along with Gardy because of, of watching and, and being a part of TK's uh, teams in the past. All right. I, I know you guys like to hang out with me and everything, but you are here for a, a very important reason. The ALS Blackwoods Blizzard Tour is this week, and you two have been instrumental in making this one of the greatest fundraisers for ALS probably worldwide now. The money that you have raised over the years is astonishing. It's this week. We'll put the information on the screen where you can help donate for these guys. But Herbie, how amazed are you that this has just mushroomed into <laughs> such an enormous event? Um, I think we're both surprised and, and humbled and thankful and anything you can say, something like that. But, but it's, uh, it's a, a job that these people have done up there in Duluth. That is amazing, uh, considering uh, there's been years, and, and Terry Steinbach, who is also going to be up there with us, who, who kind of started the whole deal out with, uh, with the snowmobile ride 23 years ago. And uh, they've had rides when there's been no snow, and they still raise money. They didn't even start a snowmobile up. A couple years ago, we didn't even ride the first couple days because it was too cold. I mean, it was like 40-some below up there, and we couldn't even, they wouldn't let us ride for, for safety's sake. But we still raised a million dollars, um, and they're looking at going over, you know, close to 1.5. Hopefully this year again, and they're and they're they're billing it as the the world's largest snowmobiling fundraiser in the world, and I think we've got that so far. Yeah, it's it's, cool. it's just astonishing. And Gardy, you've gotten to know these people affected by this disease, and I know that's why you come. I mean, you came all the way back from Florida. You know, you're sitting in the sun, and you're going <laughs> he might, su submit yourself. I don't know that. about that. <laughs> Well, it, it's, uh, I was, I, I feel very, very blessed that I got invited, that it, you know, Herbie and Steiny said, we'd really like you to come up there and, you know, do this. I, me and snowmobiles, we, we didn't have that in Oklahoma, I'm telling you that right now, <laughs> or Florida. And you know what? Started riding with, with this group, and it's, it's one of the best events I've ever been, if not the best event I've ever been involved in, just because of the people. We're a big family. That's what happens there. You, you get to know everybody. I, I can't remember names. I'm, I'm brutal with names. So I call everybody, what's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling you, it's the greatest event you've ever been involved in. We raise a lot of money. We're safe. Uh, and and it's, it's, it's an event every night. It's a blast. We do something special every night. Yeah, it's just astonishing uh, what you guys have done. And like you said, Herbie, you'll ride this until hopefully you can change it to another disease. And, you know, we're done with this. Now let's tackle something else. Yeah, right now they've, they've got a, it's called a Healy, uh, uh, Healy uh, some sort of, of, uh, of test that they're doing now. And they've actually started it up in Duluth now because of the fundraising that we've done up there. The, they also do it here at the University of Minnesota and down in at Mayo, and they're starting a, a, a chapter up in Duluth now, to uh, to start some uh, testing for people to try to find out if you can cure this disease. So we got a little bit of a, you know, I don't want to say hope, but there's something there finally, and it's all because of this snowmobile ride and the money and our fishing tournament that we do in the summertime up there, the money that they're raising to get this going. So we're making, hopefully, we're starting to go back the other way finally. All right, so did you uh, hook up the snowmobiles to your car, drove them up from Fort Myers? I can't find my snowmobiles. <laughs> I, I've said for the last two years I want to ride my snowmobiles, but they get all these new ones, right? I like my clunker, it, and I'm hoping it's going to be there this year. The last time I rode, I remember coming in at the end of the second day, and I saw my snowmobile on the back of a truck. 
And then I started giving them grief again. I want my snowmobile, but they're like, it's not really running. So <laughs> we'll see when I get up there. All right, well, it's fantastic, and there's banquet coming up this weekend, so you can join the guys for that. Lots of ways to do it. Go to their website, and you will be finding out great ways to pledge money to these guys, too, to make them ride. Get them out there again. <laughs> Absolutely. Step 365 up, please. miles if we go the full, the full ride, three-day ride. So uh, it's, a, it's a fun deal. Looks like it's going to be a little cool this, this weekend. Too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. It, it'll work. Guys, <laughs> thank you so much for doing this. Uh, congratulations on heading to the Hall of Fame. Are you going to allow them in? Because I hear Heck you're yeah. the gatekeeper. What? No, I'm not the gatekeeper, but... To have a guy like I've Guardian, got credit there. Cards. <laughs> <laughs> to have a, a guy like Guardian, that'll be a, it'll be a fun weekend, especially with Danny going in too. Yeah, and, uh, and Cesar Tovar, Cesar Tovar, who I watched as a kid for a long time playing shortstop. So uh, it'll be a, a fun weekend, and, and uh, I'm waiting to hear Guardy's speech. Hopefully, it isn't long as more knows. Guaranteed, no chance. <laughs> I don't know that many people anymore. <laughs> Well, guys, thank you so much for coming in, and thank you for all you've done for ALS, because without right. your names attached to this and the people that put in the hard work, but you guys bring people in. So thank you so much for stepping up to right. the plate, yeah, as they awesome. say. Thank, thank you. you, Jimmy.